Yeah, I had to take another pause there. Uh, let's finally go inside this house. Ah, this must be where the old man lives. Hmm. Whoops. Sorry, I woke you up. What is it? Just when I was finally able to fall asleep. What are you doing? Bah, can't you tell when an old man is fat sound asleep? Let's talk in the morning. There's a fire outside if you're looking f to pass the time. Uh, oh, eh, I'll leave his axe for now. Uh, let's do what everyone does when they play a Zelda game. Break the pots. Spicy pepper helps you withstand the code. Nice. Uh, spicy pepper, spicy pepper. Baked apples to mellish room. The old man's diary. Let's read it. On this desolate plateau, the only pleasure that brings me comfort is cooking. And today, I outdid myself. Truly, I created the perfect dish. I call it spicy meat and seafood fry. This recipe not only restores health, but it also keeps me warm. And even when traveling in the snowy mountains. With this dish at my side, I am no longer... I no longer have need of the, that itchy warm doublet. I am old. Even my writing is wrong. I do not know how how I. Blah, blah, blah. I do not know how I allowed this to happen, but it seems. But it seems I forgot to write down a very important recipe, as well as how to talk and write. I know it contained raw meat and a, and a spicy pepper. However, I simply cannot remember what else was used. My age is catching up to me. Sadly, on this lonely plateau, I only have my own knowledge and memory to rely on. Still, if I did find someone who knew the missing ingredient, I would happily reward them with my warm doublet. How however, it seems unlikely that such a miraculous witch will ever be fulfilled. Let's stop reading. Okay. Well, it's called spicy meat and seafood fry. We actually just got a pepper. Is there any meat around? Uh... Oh yeah! So anything else you can use? Oh, wait. Farmer's pitchfork. Okay, so oh, uh, so this is the uh, third variant, weapon variant. Very fast, but not very high damage. Although this one actually has quite high damage for what it is. That torch is almost dead. Let's just use it up. Hmm, there's a camp down there. I don't want to deal with that. Ah, this on the wall is a... Okay, that's just a volcano. <laughs> Restroom! Movement speed. Nice. Okay, what else is there around here? Hmm, I guess that's really it. Oh, another mushroom. Oh, <laughs> what the? Okay, Hytale Lizard. Random Hytale Lizard. Uh, I guess let's wait until morning and talk to the old guy. Let's wait until morning. That, whoa, what? Oh, it's the shadow of the Korok. I was like, whoa, what is that? I see up, uh, where is he? Oh, he's over here chopping wood. Oh, yeah, you can also shield, sir. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry if I do a lot of things instinctively. It's, well, instinct. Let's talk. How is your shrine exploration going? What you doing? I thought this tree here might make for some good firewood. However, getting a tree to fall exactly where you want to is quite an art. The trick is to turn your hips so that they face where you want the tree to land. So, I see you found my axe. Why not help me out and give give it a few swings? I'm working up quite a sweat here, but these bones could use a break. Let's give it a try. Let's uh, try it on this tree. I get you, and we got a Korok leaf. I don't really have a need for that right now, but that is useful. We'll get in more than that later. So we have three here. We have three trees here to try this, and we can see that the shrine is indeed across this little gap. All the way up there, though, so we'll have to do some cliff climbing, I believe, too. And that's straight up death, so... Here we go. Uh, 
first try, and we got a tree branch. Real quick, I'm gonna show this off as well. If you chop the tree again, you get wood. This is what you can use to make a fire. If you place this in the ground and have someone to light it, you'll get a fire. Okay, let's head across the tree, Link. Link the daredevil! Sorry for the random cut there, I had to sneeze. <laughs> okay, let's look around. Over there is another enemy camp. They are all awake. It's a nice touch how they go to sleep at night, though. And that can be used to your advantage, but, uh, not, not really for me. There are actually enemies over here now. Uh, can I sneak up on- no, it's not happening. I'm gonna get this out and have this ready. Come get me, son! Oh, oh yeah, you can also knock trees down like this. Oh gosh. Uh, 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 uh. Off the cliff! Off the cliff with you! And that's our first enemy kit taken down, and they felt I can't loot them, dang it. Oh. I hit myself with the tree. No, Link, stop pushing the tree. Uh oh. Uh oh. <coughs> Whoa. Come get me, son! Uh-oh. There we go. And off the cliff as well. A Boko Spear! That could replace what we just lost <laughs> in the pitchfork. Uh... Hmm, it's kinda hard. Oh, what's over here? A chest. I don't know if I've ever found this chest. Fire arrows! That's actually very useful, considering the mode. I can't remember, is that there normally? I think it might be, but I don't know if I've ever found it. At least not early on. Uh, so now, we gotta go up there. Time to start climbing! Uh, let's get a full bar. You can jump to go a little faster, but it uses up way more stamina, so I'm not going to. What you gotta kinda do is go from foothold to foothold here. There we go. If you're, like, about to reach a ledge, go ahead and jump, usually. Because you'll still make the jump, even if you don't have enough stamina. But the, if you run out of stamina, the minute, like, you, like, land... You'll immediately fall. Got another restroom. That could be useful. Especially for YouTube. There's also uh, various ledges you can probably just walk on normally. Although this doesn't seem to be one of them. Uh, this one's going to be a little harder. Yeah, I take this one a little slower. How high are we now? We're pretty high up. This would be an instant death drop, at this point. Restroom. Another restroom. I think it's kind of obvious now, but these things grow in cliffs. In fact, I think their description said that. Refill, and let's climb the last little bit. I said Link has, m got, has got to be jacked. Like, seriously, he's climbing this cliff with a giant metal claymore. I mean, there's not actually a weight system in this game, but you know what I mean, right? <laughs> ah! Wait, what? I looked away for a second. What just happened? Uh, what happened? I'll have to look at that later. Okay, let's make our way back up the giant cliff. I'm really not sure what happened there. We get more restrooms, at least. 
Or do we? Or did it not count as getting those anymore? Actually. Uh. What? What? Well, that was a lot of progress lost. Um. There's another way up here. <laughs> Climbing without stamina, like, more stamina is really hard. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, let's not be hasty and try and rush the cliff now. Let's just take it slow. Link the professional rock climber here. I'm impatient. <laughs> Okay, we're almost back to where we were. That was really weird. I have no clue what happened. I think I might have glitched out on a ledge or something. Okay, for extra emphasis, we're getting on the cliff. Here we go. I think this is where I fell before. Going up the giant cliff. Yeah, I think this is the top up here. Let's just... Yeah, there we go. Okay, we finally made it. We finally made it. Hmm, there's a giant boulder here with a chest. But there's no way we can move that. Bombing it won't do squat. Can't magnesis. Okay. Let's see what's in the shrine. Ah, so we can skip these now. I'm not gonna show this every time, don't worry. Yeah, let's see what shrine this is. Stasis Trial, o Oadam Shrine. Stasis. So this is a cool, this is a cool item, or ability. Okay, I'm gonna get something other than my good weapon. Uh, this torch is almost dead. So what we can do is freeze objects for a limited time. Uh, can we break that as well? Yeah. This is one of the more useful ones, I would say. Although they're all very useful, don't get me wrong there. There's a chest up here, if we can get up here for the ball drops again. But, don't take that out of context. <laughs> So something else we can do is that it stores kinetic energy. So we can hit this thing. The more powerful the weapon used to hit it, the easier it'll be to make it fly. That one flew to oblivion, okay. So yeah, it's very cool. And yes, you can send things like that barreling in the enemies as well via via this mess blah, 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 via this method. These all say the same things from now on, so pardon me, but I'm a, I'm going to skip it. <laughs> Spirit Orb! We have three of them now. One more shrine left. Hmm. It's got distinctly cloudy out here now. Anyways, and let's we now, now do with our brand new handy dandy stasis is stasis this and send it to the moon. I don't actually have to put in a full blast, I just wanted to. 
There it goes. Beef. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Normally they don't despawn like that. <laughs> Traveler's bow. And a bow. Always useful. Anyway, from here we would actually have pretty easy access to a quick route to over here. Because there's a giant river here, which... Eh. But there's something else I want to get first, so, um... I'm gonna just teleport over here to the Great Plower Tattoo. Great... Great Plower Tattoo. I meant to say Great Tower Plateau. See y'all there.